What's going on, folks? Will Stewart here with Will Stewart 365. And today we have a niche unboxing and first impressions video. I have got in a big haul from Parfums to Marley. I know it's an expensive one, but there was a big sale over there on Joma Shop. So with tax returns coming in and all that stuff, I had to take opportunity to get myself some of the fragrance that I've been wanting to pick up from this particular house so far i think it's my favorite niche house that i have experienced and or smelt i have several decanters up there in the corner there from them uh, but i wanted to pick up some full bottles so the first one that we are going to be unboxing today is herod from parfums de marley and this one is in the uh 4.2 fluid ounce bottle 125 mil you know pick this one up for a really good discount from joma shop uh they don't discount it very often for this house uh but when they do you can save a significant amount of cash so we are going to open this one up here we're going to cut this plastic off nice and neat and then we are going to open the box up here. We are going to smell this for the first time. This particular fragrance from Parfums de Marley, I have yet to smell. I know that it is a tobacco forward fragrance, but it does look like it comes with a little card inside the box here. It has a little bit of a history of the brand in several different languages, etc., etc. Won't bore you guys by reading that out. Yeah, we're going to take a look at arid so with these you can pick the cap up uh, or you can pick the bottle up by the cap rather and let's see so it's not it's not magnetic so no magnetic cap but these caps are heavy and they are metal here looks like a heavy stainless steel a cap does click into place and does have a pretty good purchase i think the cap weighs more than the bottle <laughs> I am not even joking, but let's take a look at the bottle here. We've got the bottle. The bottle is a matte, or sorry, a high gloss, metallic, gunmetal finish. You do have the horses there from the Parfums de Marley house. You have Parfums de Marley Paris written there on the bottom. The very bottom, you do have the batch code, the name, the house and all of those fun informations. The batch code for this particular one is 2342055. If you're into those types of deals on the cap here, you do have a embossed logo with the date of the house 1743 uh, it looks like is when this particular company was established. So that's a pretty old house. This particular bottle is a fingerprint magnet. You can see that right there from me just touching it right now, even the cap as well. So if that kind of thing bothers you, you will want to have a microfiber cloth handy in order to clean the fingerprints off your bottle. But let's grab a handy dandy test strip here. And we will give this one a few sprays. I'm looking forward to this. In fact, I am going to spray this one on skin. This is going to be my scent of the day. I have not worn a fragrance just so that I can put this one on skin for you guys. The atomizer was primed right away. I always love that. Always love when it's primed right away. And so for me, this one just okay, right off the bat, there are some similarities between just in the air. A beautiful tobacco fragrance. I mean, I love this house. Parfums de Marley is amazing. This one to me smells very much like, you know, Spice Bomb Extreme. Let's grab a Spice Bomb Extreme here so we can see the similarities to it. But just in the air, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I do have quite a bit of, you know, tobacco fragrances. You do have a little bit of a, a, a fruity floral, but spicy. So the spice bomb extreme is going to be a little bit spicier off the top and they're not they're not similar like they're not the same like they're not clones of each other but they definitely hit the same wheelhouse i would say that the herod is probably a little bit sweeter off the top a little bit smokier right like you're getting that that tobacco 
which is a really just kind of a rich, almost slightly boozy tobacco cigar shop type of a scent. Like it's, I mean, just off paper right off the bat. It's absolutely fantastic. So they definitely aren't overlapping fragrances, but they are definitely in the same like wheelhouse, right? Like they're both tobacco sweet fragrances, but the the perfume Samarly is is better in my opinion, especially just off off the top. But uh, right now, first impressions off paper, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one as far as tobacco fragrances are concerned, straight up just nine out of 10, just off the opening. And I'm not saying that because it's a perfume Samarly and it's niche and it's expensive. If it wasn't, I would criticize it just like any other one that I have tried. But this one here, we're gonna go ahead and spray this one on skin here, I'll put two sprays on that arm, put two sprays on this arm, and we will go, we're gonna check this one out because, so you do wanna let it dry a little bit. I did get a little bit of an alcohol burst there on skin, but I always tend to, uh, but that I think that's pretty common with any fragrance. I didn't really smell it on paper, but I definitely smelt it on skin. Okay, so leather on skin, it does smell different than it does on paper, but it's still really good. So you've got, You've got the leather. The leather comes a lot more forward for me on skin. You're, you're getting tobacco leather. Maybe not as spicy as the Spice Bomb Extreme for sure. You are getting a little bit of, uh, of a fruity sweetness. I'm not really hitting the vanilla right now. I don't necessarily even know the notes 100%. But you're... So it's not, it's not as sweet, I think, off the top as Spice Bomb Extreme. But anything that I've recognized from Parfum de Mali, the dry down is where these things absolutely boss. For me though, even in the opening in this one, it's definitely leather and tobacco forward. But for me, you definitely got, as it's starting to dry down, you're getting a little bit more sweetness. But let, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the notes for the fragrance and we'll see what's going on. So let's open up our Parfumo app and let's open up Herod. So according to Parfumo it is an 8.6 rating. Um, I see why that is. It's a beautiful smelling fragrance. So there is cinnamon and pepperwood in, 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 in the opening, in the top. I smelt the spiciness in the air and on the on paper. On skin though, I guess you can see it, but it blends in really well with that tobacco. So in the mid, you've got tobacco, frankincense osmanthus and cystus i have no idea what cystus smells like it looks like it's a floral and then in the base you have vanilla cedarwood cypriol patchouli and vetiver in the vetiver i'm not really getting a grassy smell so it's not that kind of vetiver but the patchouli there is a bit of an earthiness to it and patchouli kind of has an earthiness vibe for me in my nose and some particular formulations but this one is is really good it's a really good blend look guys and i can start to smell the vanilla coming through now you know what 10 minutes into this video and it's 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 a great one it's a great one I, i'm giving it a nine out of ten people on parfumo there they give it a you know 8.6 i think this is nine out of ten as far as like, I have a Mancera Red Tobacco. I have Spice Bomb Extreme. I have several, you know, tobacco fragrances. And this one is right up there with the best. There are some clones of Herod that I am going to be checking out. And I'm going to, re you know, review those for you guys too. To see how close they get to the actual original. Save you guys some cash. But right now, I'm telling you right now, from my experience, I have Layton. I have four Layton clones as well. Four. Four Layton clones. We're going to be doing a comparison sooner on with Layton versus those four Layton clones. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the original in the dry down is the best. There is a cleanness to it that the, that the clones don't match. They smell very similar. Some of them get really close. There's like a pureness in the original uh, that can't be matched. And so that's why I have picked up Herod by Parfums to Marley. Guys, this is great for fall, winter. So even now I'm getting more spiciness, a little bit more of, of a fruity floral. Guys, nine out of 10, if you can afford it, if you can find it on sale, pick yourself up one. 
Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. We will see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace.